Good morning, Catonsville High School uh, juniors. This is Mr. Hill. I just wanted to give you an update on 320 uh, with some things that uh, keep us moving during this time of crisis. Uh, just a reminder, everybody, to keep your mind fresh. Always do a little bit of reading. Uh, do some things that stimulate your intellect because you're all very smart. Uh, do something to keep your body active and do something to keep your heart active. So today, um, I've done a lot of reading today. I'm, re I'm currently reading this book right here called The 50s, which I find a really interesting history. Secondly, uh, I did write some letters. I told you about that last time. I wrote four letters, could not write five yet, but I did write four letters, one of whom, uh, one of which I wrote to the governor to thank him. And second, I wrote to some nurses that I knew to thank them for their hard work during this tough time. And I did do some running again today. It was great. I added a half mile more to my run. I'm feeling really good right now. So those are what I've been doing. So I want to talk a little about some of the things I have set up for you uh, on Schoology. The first is on Schoology in our class, uh, there is an excellent opportunity to potentially earn enough points to, um, to get a really good grade for this quarter, if you, should you do it. So it's extra, if none of this stuff is graded, but this stuff will be graded and added to your grade if you do it. And that is listed under here on quarter three on the right-hand side. You'll see I did have some discussions you can still work on. And then it's this assignment over Corona break. I gave it this title. So if you click on it, um, it's called Independent Learning Project Grade 11 Digital and Paper. Now it looks complex. I'm gonna open it up and show you what it's all about here. And there's basically a series of assignments and readings for you. Uh, you're supposed to annotate these texts, and there's a couple of poems in here, um, answer these questions based on the text, and there's this over a little bit so you can see it. Um, oopsie. It's a relatively long poem here that you could do. Um, and then you're supposed to and, you know, fill in a graphic organizer for it. And there's quite a few really interesting texts to read. Now, if you complete all of this, I know it sounds like a lot. If you complete all of it, then I will add to your grade 50 points at any, to just fill in grades that you might be missing. So, for example, if, you, uh, if, if you're missing some grades or if you're absent, I will just take those 50 points and scatter them throughout your uh, grade so you can improve your grade. So, uh, it's a great opportunity for you, and I'm really highly going to recommend it to you. Uh, you can either turn it in, in paper whenever we return, or you can digitally turn it in, or if you want, you can mail it to the school and I can receive it. But it's a great opportunity for you. Uh, you can complete it either directly on the paper, or you can just answer the question separately. So that's an opportunity for all of you, and I will be continuing to give you some activities to do here under grammar resources you see. Uh, there's some activities you can work on. It's under this folder on the very, very bottom called Adjective Clauses Combining. There's a series of events. It says here, student progress. So you can answer these questions, keep yourself moving, um, learning a little bit more about structural sentences. And there's a sequence there that you should complete in order. So that is um, a lot of things I've set up for you. So I really hope you're all doing well, that you keep your mind fresh, your body fresh, and your heart fresh. Take care of yourself, and I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday when I'll speak to you again. Bye-bye.